irreverent, entertaining, cool. You're listening to L.A. Talk Radio. You're listening to Question Reality with Priscilla Leona, right here on L.A. Talk Radio. Hello and welcome to Question Reality. I'm Priscilla Leona, producer and host of this show, and we are coming to you live from Los Angeles, California. For 10 years, we have been ranked the number one entertainment career advice internet radio show. Did I say that twice, internet radio show? I don't think I did. Just in case, there's only one internet. Um, This show is for you. If you are currently pursuing or dreaming about a career in the entertainment industry and guests on this show will help you by providing tips, advice, and resource information on how and what it takes to pursue a successful career in a wide variety of show business professions. Now, the guests on this show include Emmy winners, Grammy winners, and Tony Award winners, reality TV stars. Stars, film and music producers, film, television, and theater directors, casting directors, talent managers, screenwriters, actors, singers, songwriters, comedians. Did I say writers? Well, writers too, which are novelists, more like novelists, uh, script writers, stunt people, and entertainment attorneys. Now, if you missed any of our shows, we want you to certainly listen to every single one of them. So to do that, you have to go to our archive page, which is on the latalkradio.com website. That's latalkradio.com. And we're on channel one, obviously. And search for our show title, which is question reality or you can search by my name which is Priscilla Leona of course and all of those uh, shows or our shows are available for uh, free on iTunes, Google Play, and Stitcher.com under the podcast section. And you can also get our free mobile app, which is on the homepage of the LATalkRadio.com website. And it's located towards the right-hand side, towards the bottom. You just have to scroll, scroll, scroll a little bit. And finally, if you want to be a guest on our show or refer someone to promote uh, and showcase themselves, their products, and just genuinely help listeners uh, with sage career advice, we are currently booking through December. So go to our official website, which is questionrealityradioshow.com, questionrealityradioshow.com, and click the contact link to submit for interview consideration. And um, we would love to have you on the show. Now, uh, today we have a, uh, if you've been reading the social media post, we have a super sexy stylistic dance pop artist, Chelsea, who's promoting her hit single, King Size, which mm, it made it to the top 40 on the Billboard charts this year. And the last three remixes hit the number 13 spot on the UK dance charts. And it's still climbing the charts. And we'll be playing uh, the song, King Size, today around 5.30. So get your stiletto heels on because we are doing sexy. She is going to be bringing the sexy back. Now, unfortunately, with the L.A. traffic, she's running a little late and she should be here any second. So it's just me all by myself and Albert. Say hi, Albert. You're going to be like my guest until Chelsea gets here. Greetings and great afternoon. You should have said greetings and felicitations like they did on Star Trek, remember? Um, So, again, Chelsea will be here any minute, and we are going to be doing the show via Facebook Live. 
And uh, so if you are looking via Facebook Live right now, you're probably just seeing an empty chair. Well, she just texted me and said she's here. So hopefully she's roaming around looking for the station right now. But we will get back to her. First, I want to talk to you about this wonderful film festival that I have been a judge on for a couple years now. It's called N, as in Nancy, S-A-E-N, N-S-A-E-N Film Festival. And it is current, we are currently uh, accepting film submissions. Now, what is N-S-A-E-N, you, you ask? It sounds like a government job. It is stands for No Strings Attached E News, um, which it's a online magazine, uh, but we also have a film festival that kind of comes with it. So the NSAEN Film Festival invites both seasoned and new filmmakers and professionals from all around the world to submit entries for their exceptional online film festival. And um, as a judge, you know, we recognize, I recognize, <laughs> they do too, since they're part of it. Uh, we recognize that there is a growing community of uh, disabled filmmakers, and we enthusiastically invite you to participate in our inaugural festival. Um, we have uh, Cheers to the Warriors, which is a 501k nonprofit organization that primary its primary mission is providing financial assistance through monetary grants to U.S. veterans uh, who have been injured in combat. So I would highly suggest that you submit to our film festival. So again, I am a judge on there, so you might want to send attention, Priscilla Leona, for the NSAEN Film Festival. Also, I am a judge for the Burbank Film International Film Festival. So when that opportunity comes up, please submit and send me a little email and let me know that you did that. Now, I want to talk one more thing uh, before, because guess what? Chelsea's here. Oh my gosh. I wish Albert were here so he could give her some applause because we normally have a wonderful applause meter. But Chelsea, look into that little camera there because we are doing Facebook Live. You are on, so I don't know what you were doing before oh, you knew. <laughs> oh, I don't know. You were like disheveled and I like was. whipping a boob oh, up or gosh. something, adjusting the boobage, oh, the boobinazi. Yeah. <laughs> Well, um, real quick, uh, Albert has gone down to the garage, so uh, we did not get the applause. But when he comes back, because I get so many requests for my little applause meter, so he'll get to that. But I wanted to talk to you uh, real quick about Bojangles. Now, for those of you who do not, who live on the West Coast, you do not know what Bojangles is. Well, it is an East Coast restaurant. Um it is absolutely phenomenal. Now, it's equivalent to like Popeye's here or KFC, but I'm telling you, in my personal opinion, Bojangles is the bomb. It is just everything. I would take Bojangles over KFC or Popeye's any day or night. Well, let me just tell you real quickly what happened. Albert is back from the garage, if you can see him roaming by on the Facebook Live. Um, ooh, oh, oh, ah, oh, psh, sorry, I was trying to Facebook Live with my camera. Albert, I'm going to give you this. Can you do the little Facebook Live for me? We're just so unprofessional here, I'm just telling you right now. Well, wait a minute, if I hit live, is that what's going to happen? Am I living? Uh, Chelsea, you know more about this. What do you do? You just hit Facebook Live? Yeah. You yeah, just live it up? You yes. just hit that? Uh, oh, is that working? Mm. Oh, it's facing that way, oh. though. Oh, it's... Well, good. Give me a chance to put <laughs> my lipstick on. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah. Hurry, get, your, hurry, get your lipstick on! Get your, get your, <laughs> get your lips on, girl! Well, I try to figure out um, how to... Oh, my gosh. So, maybe I have to go hit done. All right. And then, oh, my goodness gracious. All right, so we're still trying to figure out how the heck to do this. So, maybe we'll start again. Um, 
Should All I right. go live here? Yeah, well, we're actually, uh, LA Talk Radio is filming you live right oh. now through that little one, the little okay. white one there. So where should I and hide? I'm <laughs> I know. Can I know. Go, go ahead. Hide, hide over there. I hear you. All right. You hide there I while I hit the I was about to pick my nose. Oh, you better not. <laughs> well, you know what? It'll make you more real. More real. Yeah, that's it. Called, yeah, it's all right. It's so, live. Oh, oh, maybe I oh, I gotta hit this little thing. Oh, bear with us, folks. We are mm, I, I've Facebook live before, but oh, okay. I, I Can really I help with that? That? Oh, wait a minute. It won't hit that little thing and flip it around because for some reason it doesn't accept my unique fingerprint. Okay, hmm. so I know okay. sometimes it does. So, no, not here. No, no. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. It's just Chelsea. Hi. All right, we're gonna place this little thing here now. Isn't she a little honey? We're gonna I'm real, 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 real. All right. Thank I think you, we filter. Got it. Do I need uh, to put this on? Or am I good? Oh, yeah. Oh. Do this and then you'll hear. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Put those on. All right. Yeah. So um. So Chelsea is here, back in the house. So if you missed it, let's just go back and, see, as you can see, Chelsea is the super, <laughs> super. I'm gonna get Albert in here too. Bear with us. This is gonna be. I'm gonna be an expert at this by the time I do it next time. You are my very first Facebook Live. Really? I'm yes. Really yeah. I got so many requests for people to, oh my you know, to do it, and I'm like, oh God, it's such a, you know, a hassle because I got to do so many things. I know. Anyway, as you can see this super sexy stylistic dance pop artist chelsea uh she is here promoting her hit single king size which made it to the top 40 on the billboard charts this year and the last three remixes hit number 13 on the uk charts and it's still climbing the charts and we will be playing King size uh, today around 5:30. Oh my goodness, it's 5:20. Usually I have <laughs> more time to like do questions. We might have to speed on through this real quick. Um, so again, Chelsea has her stilettos on, I'm sure, but get your little stilettos on. And <laughs> Chelsea's bringing sexy back, so we'll just get with it real quick. You can also check out her website. ChelseaOfficial.com. She's on Facebook under Chelsea Music LA and Instagram, Chelsea Music LA, and Twitter, Chelsea Music underscore LA. So, real quick, mm -hmm. um, finish Bojangles up. So, anyway, real quick, Bojangles, best chicken biscuits ever. Don't have it out here on the East Coast. So, I was on Twitter and I was telling people my experience. A guy was complaining that he had to drive five miles uh, to get to a Bojangles. And I said, well, that's lucky. I would drive mm -hmm. for days. I would hire a private jet like the Kardashians to get Bojangles. Well, anyway, somebody from Bojangles Will you stop <laughs> filming me? Oh my God, well, Albert's driving me crazy. Okay. It's only Chelsea. It's all about Chelsea, Chelsea, <laughs> Chelsea. Um, so th this lady from Bojangles was so sweet and she sent me, she slid into my DM. I've been looking to say that for a while. <laughs> I actually have never had anyone slide into my DMs. But anyway, she did. And she sent me, asked for my address and sent me the actual secret um, chicken seasoning, the french fry seasoning, and I got it in the mail. I'm like, oh my God, Bojangles, do you ever get any better? No. I mean, who does that? <laughs> Burger King wouldn't do it. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken or Popeyes wouldn't do it, but Bojangles, if you're on the East Coast or in the South, check out Bojangles' best chicken french fries and sweet tea ever bojangles.com yes okay so chelsea you're here girl we were like i was thinking what the hell am i gonna talk about for 15 <laughs> minutes but um hopefully I'll you got get me hungry i'm sure i will <laughs> but yeah right I want like, some... you would ever touch that food looking oh like my that gosh. you smell it and that's about all you do right you oh, smell it you'd be surprised how yeah. i eat smell it <laughs> my god well i want to say congratulations on your hit single king size thank you, thank you so Made much it. yes where's the applause albert doesn't have the applause we'll just yeah, go I'll, i uh, wear many hats too <sighs> that actually sounds good 
it. I love it. Um, your hit single, King Size, has made it to... There it is. Oh, here, yeah. we go. here we go. An hour later. An hour later. Okay. All right. Well, there you go. Applause late. Uh, we're a hot mess today on this show. I'm telling you. But anyway, the, it made it to the top 40 on the Billboard charts this year. And yeah. as I said, the last three remixes mm-hmm. hit number 13 on the UK dance charts. And it's still climbing the charts. So, oh my God. That yeah. is so great, Chelsea. I now, know. Now you, I've known you for a very long time. <laughs> oh Was that a crack God. at my I Asian? Don't <laughs> I don't know what he's doing over there. Uh, you have been traveling mm. the Yellow Brick Road for, for oh, a while now. And definitely. I'm so glad to see you back on the musical dance floor, mm-hmm. so to speak. And just to give our <laughs> listeners a little bit of your musical history, let's take a journey back um and what i am most impressed with is first of all you are an asian beauty beyond compare i mean oh. the asian orchid pales in comparison oh i um, thank you very <laughs> many beauty no bias beauty all these are collo- years i've known you <laughs> thank you i love you beauty that can launch a thousand ships so that is a pro and that is a con uh-huh. in anywhere in the business world because Flash, insert Harvey Weinstein. Um, (laughs) So we all know that um, made your journey a little harder, but why don't you take us back to when you were little because you Mm -hmm. actually got got started when you were eight years old in the Philippines. So take us from there. Yeah, like like you said, I I started singing, well, my gift or my passion kind of unfurled when I was eight. That's my... My aunt, we were staying in the Philippines with my aunt and uncle at the time because my parents uh, migrated to the U.S. to kind of, while they were getting all our documents in place, so we were staying with my aunt and uncle. There was a lot of, you came here because there was a lot of, like, activity going on in the Philippines. Wasn't it that whole, wasn't it a... Well, there's always some political unrest. Political, yes. You know, third world countries and all, so. Yeah, so there was uh, definitely, like most um, immigrant families, my parents moved to the U.S., to find a better life for us. And in the meantime, while they were organizing our paperwork and so on, my um, we were staying at my aunt and uncle's. And my aunt is a um, musical composer. And uh, my uncle was a politician. But they were both very, very passionate about music. And anyway, so... Um, Early on, I just suddenly started belting out Barbara, you know, Barbara, Bar- Barbara, 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 Streisand. Barbara Streisand. So it's kind of funny seeing this, this like teeny tiny person under not even three feet tall, like, you know, belting out like memory from like, you know, cats. It would be something, wouldn't it? And and you did Liza Minnelli too. Oh my gosh, Liza. Well, yes. I, I mean, Liza. I was a huge fan of all the, you know, um, Bernadette Peters. Oh, I mean, yeah. uh, Patti Lapone, you name it. I love, oh, love, love. Oh yeah. And of course, you know, my growing up after singing, kind of looking up to those people, of course, Whitney Houston too, mm-hmm. Mariah Carey, you know, had those big, big voices, big ballad ears. I was just like, I want to do that. And then um, fast forward a little bit, they discovered some kind of talent there, or at least an interest, you know. Mm. And so they honed it and I started, my first show was in front of like 5,000 people at some... <gasps> at uh, eight years old? Yeah. Oh my gosh! <laughs> there are people who are A-list musical I, artists who can't get 5,000 yeah, people, well, believe it or not. I didn't say I sounded good, but... <laughs> oh, I'm sure you did. But and eight, I, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. Wow. And um, was that here in the Philippines? That was in the Philippines. Okay. And when I moved to the states, then that's when it kind of started. I started, I going to the performing arts schools and and training. I went to um, Pacoima Middle School, which is a very uh, very respected uh, performing arts middle school. And then I went to a performing arts high school. Um, L.A. County High School for the Arts, and then I kind of just well, you kept audition, developing. You auditioned for a producer who was putting together an uh-huh. all-Asian girl group. Was mm-hmm. that when I met you? <laughs> yes. That was the Slam Girls, right? Um, was that the Slam That, oh, you that know. <laughs> Actually, that I've been in a few girl groups. Okay. So I've, I've made my run. I, I've been around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, did I've the girl group around thing. town, yeah. Oh, okay, so that was before, because mm-hmm. when I met you, you were getting, you were putting, you were, 
being mm-hmm. part of the the slam the um, slam. I was right? um in this all Asian female singing group called SX4. That was oh, the yeah, first singing I group I was that. Like, Yes. Okay. Yeah. I and that. and it you was, landed a record deal back then, right? Uh, well, yeah. That's with, actually with the major label BMG. Right. Right. Um. Well, we were under the management of George Brown, who was flat, yes. You know, take, uh-huh. we're like we're looping it together I know, because right? he was George Brown is from uh, Cool in the Gang. Yes. It's, so take us. Oh, you're discovered by the cool in the gang. I know. <laughs> well, cool. that's that's kind of the part word. of the cool. It's, that's I so guess cool. That's kind of what you say. Like you know, timing is everything, and it's like all, all works. It's like kismet. It's all. Mm-hmm. It's all part of like the bigger plan. So, I was. We were like. We were so like green then. Like, but we had four girls that were just uh, uh, great. You know, great singers. But we were like still really inexperienced, and we're like you know just kind of. Well, let's put it this way. So we were given the opportunity, and we recorded a bunch of songs. We had three singles um, under with Cool and the Gang, and it was released. And but you know, the group disbanded, and we were young. Everybody wanted to do their own thing. But uh, the BMG, mm-hmm. BMG under the management of George Brown, mm-hmm. the what happened with those songs? Because there was touring and uh-huh. recording of the album. Uh, what 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 happened? With that? Well, did any of the songs make it to the charts? Or actually, interesting, they were remixed. Or they were uh, songs that were already cool in the gang songs. Oh, yeah. I see. So we oh, you were doing the covers. Yeah. Oh, we, okay. We re-recorded Cherish, and um, we were also in there a few of their songs. I mean, we did a lot of projects with them too we were at the hollywood bowl and we performed with them it was a great experience but well, yeah heck yeah <laughs> did you tour here or did you have you go to europe well there were talks of that but we ended up not doing that the group disbanded okay. so we kind of just some people but you wanted... got experience great experience yeah definitely Which, would you recommend young mm-hmm. girls now to be part of there are not that many you mm-hmm. know girl groups i mean I know. there's so I many boy bands because i am chelsea girl right now i am obsessed with harry styles from one direction <gasps> oh, so who that's isn't? like <laughs> oh my god he's my world no offense albert uh, albert has a list like he Milano. understands yeah oh, okay um but it, that was in 2010 i don't mm-hmm. know of any hot you know boy bands now but there's more boy bands than there are girl bands why is that chelsea why 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 why? Well, I mean, I think it's because, well, they're boys, you know, girls are the ones buying, right? So, mm. you know, it's kind of, I mean, I, I, I like boy bands. So. Yeah, of course. <laughs> you like boy bands. Yeah. yeah so, but actually, I'm really kind of crazy. My mom is crazy over like K-pop right now. The K, the K-pop bands. What's all K-pop? Those K-pop Korean yeah. pop. Priscilla, oh, Korean. Oh my gosh. You yes. girl, oh, I am it's so just, behind. I know. They're just my mom. I can... just discovered One Direction last oh. year, so oh, I'm man. a little behind. I'll, I'll introduce you to my playlist. You're just gonna go. Oh my crazy. god! Yes. What, so what's going on with the K-pop band? Is that like the Goon doing a Gangnam Style? <laughs> well, or? that yeah, Korean. You're in the, the right country. Okay. That's correct. Uh, <laughs> that's the right. Country. Wow! I'm only in a <laughs> country. Wow! But yeah, you know those you know those really hot boy bands that they're you can't they're kind of almost androgynous. You can't really tell if they're boy or girl, but yeah. Because they're so pretty, yeah. but then they're they're so hot. So those are the boy bands, the Korean boy bands. Okay, so yeah. that would be like One Direction because they Kinda. were so pretty. You know, uh, yes, Harry so Styles I, is very. I'm attractive. guessing that's why is, they're so popular. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, so you were mm. with the touring with yes. the with the girls, um, broke up, mm-hmm. and but you bounced back with, because you scored like a major airtime show on MTV called Top Pop Group. Ah, yes. Anybody remember Top Pop Group? <laughs> oh, what was going on lane. in Top Cop Top Top, top Group? Well, I heard that. Top Pop Group. <laughs> Freudian slip. <gasps> Oh, top cock group. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Oh, so what did did anything come from that? I'm I'm trying to get to uh the point of mm-hmm. everybody should take any opportunity that's offered to them. People actually have the nerve to be picky when it comes to, you know, jobs and entertainment. They because should everybody be so wants, lucky if they yeah, can be. <laughs> I mean, everybody wants the big gig, mm-hmm. but nobody wants to do the small stuff. And that's mm-hmm. how you grow. Absolutely. So just by, if you get an opportunity to be on a show like Top Pop Group, mm, absolutely, you should take it because there might have been an opportunity. You could have met someone. Mm-hmm. Somebody will remember you. Right. Right. So let's encourage our girls. Absolutely. I mean, it's in order the road to get to the bigger opportunities, you kind of have to 
to make your rounds, like I said, That's and right. do the smaller roles, smaller gigs, and kind of get your name out there. And there's really no way around the hard work. I mean, I've been at this game for years. You know me. Yeah. You've known me since I was yeah. yay high now yeah. with the heels. And so, oh. I mean, it's done. <laughs> but it's... it's... We, we were talking about when Chelsea and I met, Tyra Banks was just coming to our own because you and I were talking about... <laughs> Chelsea, I'll You're never aging forget. me, Priscilla. Oh. Well, You're you were aging just a, me, girl. You were a tiny girl, just a teen. Oh, a yes. teen, really? Yes. Uh, and you asked me how I felt about Tyra Banks, and we. So I know that that was, you know, a while back. So we uh, we pretty much have <laughs> we've been friends for a long time. I know. Do you remember those many, many, many nights when we would perform? And uh, well, I was performing yeah. with the band, was, and then yes. we would be having with our, Albert Chelsea yes. would be the main vocalist, and, and yes. Albert would be like the guitar player. And what an awesome guitar player he yes, is! Yes, he is. He's <laughs> yes, so always good. But remember all those, uh, you know, naughty conversations we've had. <laughs> we would. I corrupted you at oh an early goodness. age yes. the way it should have been. I know. I... Oh, fun times. <laughs> fun times. Well, I remember, we won't say his name, but uh, Chelsea uh-huh. always had a story. And she was <laughs> always involved in some activity. I won't say his name, but a famous, super, 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 super famous guy, uh, director, um, was obsessed <laughs> You're like with limiting. Chelsea. You're like... <laughs> And, um, I mean, girlfriend was riding around in limos and hanging out with the A-list crowd. And I, of course, was encouraging her relationship with him. But she's so picky. Well, you know? when you're 12 years old, you yeah, kind of just... Started- <laughs> <laughs> exactly 12 oh my gosh but you mind you she's had... just kidding guys yes okay. <laughs> i am well so from there you just mm-hmm. went on to regular gigs um I, what i was fascinated when mm-hmm. you were telling me that you were singing um the national anthem for the top rank boxing matches fe- featuring manny pac is it pacquiao manny pacquiao yeah pacquiao. Uh-huh. he's like huge i'm not i'm not a boxing fan but i even i know his name <laughs> yeah he's huge what were you doing how did you get that gig well like i said it's about you know getting your name out there and and doing and the little do, gigs yes, doing the work it started off with um i actually sang first for another boxer another filipino boxer named nanino denaire and um he i sang for a few of his his fights and that was also in vegas and I, it was a top rank thing and and um it wasn't until uh, maybe a few years later then Top Rank called me and asked if I'd sing the national anthem for the Pacquiao fight. And um, unfortunately, he didn't win on that one. <laughs> so it's not like they're really, you know, advertising that one. <laughs> and you didn't, you were not the cause of him having bad luck that uh, night. Yes, Absolutely contrary to not. what media may say. <laughs> like, no, it's not because I'm an American. No. <laughs> yeah. Gosh. I know. But that, that's a really phenomenal opportunity. And, it, and it was not fun. many people can say that. But mm-hmm. um, uh, so you uh, released um, two back-to-back solo albums mm-hmm. and, on your own label, mm-hmm. and you were getting airplay on multiple platforms like iTunes and Amazon, mm-hmm. MTV and Internet Radio. And then <laughs> she was cast for Paradise Hotel 2. <gasps> Never forget your Jersey Shore appearance. Oh, my god! You gosh. were Jersey Shore before Jersey Shore happened. I think so. I loved you on Paradise Hotel 2. <laughs> Oh. oh my now that was that was fun that was very that seemed like fun. interesting how about that yeah okay i was like saying to my parents okay guys just turn off the tv oh. <laughs> wow well, Mom, I Dad. so you guys will have to go on uh youtube and type paradise hotel 2 <laughs> and uh i don't know if you were in every episode but i think you were in the first one so I was kind of, I left the island rather early. How about that? (laughs) You left the island. I I love it. But then you, so then you took your career to the next level, Mm -hmm. but here's where the problem happened. So she's on a roll. Chelsea's rock and rolling on the highway to hell. Mm -hmm. Uh, Not hell literally, but entertainment business is hell. So they say highway to hell and that's a good thing. All right. How about if we say stairway to heaven? She was on the stairway to heaven. um, And then she felt conflicted. 
and um, mm-hmm. there was the pressure that you had to conform, you know, with the blonde hair, mm-hmm. bikini clad, American female pop acts. And mm-hmm. you were, you, you know, from a conservative background. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's, that's something that um, you guys who are young female artists, if you are from a conservative background, you have to, you know, you, you, you feel that pressure if you enter the dance pop world mm-hmm. to... Uh, you know, drop it like it's hot, shall we say? <laughs> and um, <laughs> I and like so, that. So Chelsea, with her Eastern upbringing, um, she was resistant to let out the sexy. She didn't know how to get that sexy out. And then there was so many few Asian faces back then. You know, mm-hmm. with the. You know, Chelsea, with you, I, uh, I would imagine that you harbored the doubts of making it. So mm-hmm. you found a hot husband, locked it down the way you're supposed to. You mean to. he locked it down? Oh, he locked it down. Okay. Oh, yes, I love correction. It. Yes, thank yes, you. Yeah. He discovered you, uh-huh. locked it down. Mm-hmm. How? I don't know, mm-hmm. because I thought you were going to play the field like I had taught you a long time ago. <laughs> uh, but he locked it down. You got married. Mm-hmm. You had two beautiful daughters. Mm-hmm. And I guess you were thinking, you know what? I had fun doing the entertainment industry. Mm-hmm. Now I'm going to be a soccer mom. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what happened? That burning desire was there, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And you just said, I have, I never got to have a, a boob slippage. <laughs> I never, I never got to um, have my hoo-ha hanging out, drunk out of a mm-hmm. limo with all of the paparazzi. I'm going to go back out and make it, make it happen. I'm going to get it done. <laughs> so then out of the blue mm-hmm. flash forward who comes back in your life george brown from cool in the gang tell me about that that must have seemed incredible when um, you were yeah. ready to lock down the soccer soccer ma- soccer mom <laughs> van you got the yeah, soccer uh, van yeah, yeah i guess I, I guess you know i mean i like you how you put your maserati it. away <laughs> in porsche just way just when i put the thong away exactly you know, I, I like how you spin Thank that so you. a lot for the most part that was accurate like um you know i well i was kind of uh, rewind a little bit like what you said about um, the industry and the nature of the industry, especially for uh, an Asian American uh, artist. It's hard. Yes, it's there. We're still to this day underrepresented in the media. Mm-hmm. I mean, you don't really see that many no. Asian faces. And I don't understand because I, 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 I don't, I, I mm-hmm. can't speak for, you know, Chinese, Japanese, mm-hmm. uh, Vietnamese artists because I don't mm-hmm. really have a lot of exposure to them. But mm-hmm. I know that I have never been to a Filipino gig where people couldn't sing. Every Filipino, it oh, seems yeah. like, is a phenomenal singer. So And boxer. And, uh, and <laughs> boxer. So in the Asian world, mm-hmm. I would think if there was anyone that was going to, the star was going to mm-hmm. rise to the top, it would be a Filipino or a Filipina. Right, sure, right. But, Let's correction. But yes, because yes. they are just phenomenal mm-hmm. singers. Which oh, is, yeah. You know, I mean, the talent is amazing. I mean, it's globally, I mean, you, there's talent everywhere yeah. there. But as far as, I guess, here in the U.S., it's it's just, it's right. not... It's underrepresented, as exactly. I said. And having that, you know, I've, like I mentioned, I've been in the game. I mean, it's, it's like you said, I've had some successes and I've had, um, I've done a lot of work in the entertainment industry. I've been fortunate enough yeah. that I got a lot of opportunities. But, um, you know, obviously coming from a, a Catholic background, a very traditional, I'm also kind of, it's, I would, there was a crossroads at some point because you start to think, you're like, okay, well, you know, do you want that traditional lifestyle, you know, having kids, having the whole, you know, um, the white picket fence and so on. And uh, you also have that 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 dream that is not real. It's kind of kooky. Not everybody understands. And I'm like, why do you want to be a, a pop artist? I mean, that's or a singer. I mean, don't what is that's weird, you know, so yeah. there is that crossroads and the, you do you do um, meet that and you do encounter that especially if you're an artist or if, you have, if you're a creative spirit and um then I obviously like you mentioned I met the right person and and that timing I made the decision to proactively pursue that lifestyle you know to kind of um uh kind of not be in the entertainment because it's a lot of work you know it it's is. not it's it's building it's a lot it of building is. you know it's a lot of time and, and and so like you mentioned having the kids and everything like that but and it's not just yeah. I mean you 
you have half of the battle mm-hmm. won because you're beautiful mm-hmm. and you can sing. That's you. half. You. And you're a great mm-hmm. performer. But people mm-hmm. forget that it is show business. Absolutely. It is a business. Mm-hmm. And today, more than ever, social media is your resume Mm -hmm. it is your calling card it is the way everybody finds you Mm -hmm. and one thing i want to point out is you got to keep it consistent Mm -hmm. think about this people i i can't tell you how many people i run into have let's just for Mm -hmm. example tommy tommy bull all right so if you want to be a singer Mm -hmm. And you decide, you've got to very early decide how you're going to brand yourself. Because think about this. If you want to start a company and you're a boy or a teen and you want to call yourself Tommy Boy, so you get the, you get the URL tommyboy.com mm-hmm. and your business shoots off and then you turn into a man. But yet your business has become so popular. Do you change the name? Mm -hmm. Or do you keep it at Tommy Boy? Well, you got to brand yourself consistently across the board. Your website needs to be your name, your Mm -hmm. Facebook, your Twitter, your Instagram. Figure it out Mm -hmm. what name you want. And you got to stick with it because here's what's going to happen. If you as you go on and you meet people and they'll say, oh, okay, well, I'll, I'll Google you. When they go to Google you, if you have three different names, then they're not going to be able to right. find you. If mm-hmm. they typed in Madonna, of course, everything in the world is going to be about Madonna. Mm-hmm. If they type share, everything in the world. But if you're starting out and you're going with one name, it's going to be a little hard if you have three or four different websites with different names. So try to start branding yourself under the name very early very early because if not you're gonna have a problem so i just want to get that out there now uh so george brown comes Mm -hmm. back into your life what has happened since well um before i mean i wanted to say how he got back into the life um so when he came back into the life um to my life uh, (laughs) i came back into my life (laughs) well yeah so uh I kind of got that itch again. That's what it was. It started that way. I wanted to start singing again. I wanted to start writing again. And I was like, you know, I I felt, I felt like unfulfilled. Like Mm -hmm. I needed that element. I needed that outlet Mm -hmm. or else I was going to be like, I felt kind of like blah. Yeah. So, and lo and behold, maybe it's just the stars aligning or something. I get a call from his assistant uh, asking me to come to the studio. And I was like, oh, this is perfect. Maybe he wants me to songwrite or something. Yeah. Collaborate. Because that's really what I thought it was about. I hadn't talked to, I hadn't been in the studio for years, right? So I I go to the studio, drive all the way to like Woodland Hills coming from like, uh, I lived in Long Beach at the time. And then uh, I go there and, and then I suddenly... I go into, he, he says, go into the studio. I'm like, okay, go into the booth. All right. Uh, sure. I figured I would start writing in the studio, yeah. like in the booth. And then he hands me um, a lyric sheet and plays a song a few times. And it's a, there, and it was already a song playing. And I was like, okay, this is cool. And it, that was King Size. King Size. And it was already, um, there was a voice on it already. Uh, another, and so I thought. That's called a demo song. <laughs> There's actually a career for that, people. And it mm-hmm. pays very well. Uh-huh. I have a very good friend who's mm-hmm. a demo singer. And she works regularly with David Foster. Oh, right. So, That's true. And she makes a lot of money. So Absolutely. if you don't have the looks, that doesn't mean you can't be a demo singer. All right, continue on, Chelsea. Well, so I thought maybe they needed more lyrics or something on it or whatever, or they needed a different vocal on it. So I just started singing it. They're like, sing it. I'm like, okay. So I started singing it and I started singing, you know, King Size, you know, the song. And then I sang a few bars and they're like, cool, done. And then they handed me the contract. <gasps> I was like, get out of here. Yeah, they're like, I guess they'd been auditioning to like um, for the part. And, you know, there were a lot of people who like who were really, really talented, who just didn't quite cut it vocally. And and I'd been I've known George and he and I go back and he's like, you know, it's the, it's again, relationships that you've built Mm -hmm. through over the years and, and uh, all the work you've put in. And then, and I did, I did ask about that. I was, I was hesitant at first. I was like, man, it's going to be a lot of work, but (laughs) (laughs) you know, cause I know. Don't be be coming in Chelsea with any hard work now. (laughs) This is a woman that likes the life of luxury by the pool with a cocktail. 
cocktail. Don't be thinking there's sweat going to be involved with Chelsea now. Oh just God. have it all laid out for her, and she'll just plop in, oh. do the job, get it done. That's all you need. Because yeah. Chelsea can rock it out, right? I'd like people to think that. At least yeah. my social media will let it look like that. But no, honestly, it was... It, it's it's been so many it's funny you say it's funny you say that because it did seem like that after mm. that but then i think about it i've been at this game that's since I was right eight. let's point that right. out you like, have been mm-hmm. working to mm-hmm. build it up it's not yes. like you look good training, and you said yeah. here yeah and he training, had worked with you before so he oh, knows yeah, for years yeah. we've know? written hundreds of, we've written dozens and dozens of songs together collaborated with artists a lot of failed projects yeah. with and without him on my own and and for every job that i think i must have I must have been turned down for like every single job, <laughs> maybe for every uh, 20 jobs that I did or I went out for like one, I almost got, <laughs> you know, oh my goodness. or so but, it's, but, it's you, but you need that because rejection absolutely. is it, it makes you so tough. Oh, I love and that. Reject me as much as you yeah, can. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, just not in the bedroom. We don't oh. want any rejected bedroom Oh, that'll make girls. you better, too. Oh, <laughs> I like that. Yeah. That's my girl Chelsea, always with the positive spin. Okay, so he has the song. Mm-hmm. He, he You get the contract. Uh, then take us from there. Mm-hmm. What does he say? Girl, we're going on tour. We're making them. What, what happens next? Well, everything kind of happened really fast after that. I uh, <laughs> really fast. My friends were like, "What? What's this?" I mean, like suddenly you have like a million followers after like a week a week later. I'm exaggerating, but it was a really fast process. Like I after I signed, I mean, that was once I signed because I had you know with a lawyer and all that all that stuff. Once all that was put in motion, it's called the business the business end yeah which we cannot forget about because mm-hmm. again branding 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 and you have to have a lawyer because when you get to chelsea's level you have to protect yourself you really have to have it don't think you can go with legalzoom.com <laughs> it's not going to work people you need mm-hmm. to have a, a lawyer on retainer mm-hmm. um but yeah the the business we're skipping large portions because mm-hmm. we don't have enough time but um what was that Oh, that wasn't me. That was Albert. <laughs> you hear it? Uh, yeah, it's loud. Uh, mm. But we're skipping a lot of business stuff. But mm. basically, Chelsea took care of the business, and then you're ready to mm-hmm. go in the studio. So, are you working <clears throat> with a lot of people? Or did, he basically mm-hmm. put as the producer. I would imagine mm-hmm. he has a label. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what he is it started his own label. It's called. So it's his production company mm-hmm. under Warner. It's Astana Music. Astana. So yes. Okay, so he has people that are going to help you. So mm-hmm. you're there. He's mm-hmm. like Chelsea. This is what you're doing, and they. So I'm trying to get mm-hmm. people to understand that when they get to your level, what happens? Because a lot okay. of people don't know okay. what happens. Well, um, you mean what happens in the yeah, studio? Yeah, after you you got the song, you mm-hmm. locked it down. Right. Then what did they tell you to do? So after the song is recorded, there it needs to be mixed, and uh, so they send it out to get it professionally mixed and mastered and all that stuff. And then once that's done and approved, then we shot the music video. <gasps> That is the most fun part. Oh, Listen, yeah. people, if you have not seen Chelsea's music video for King Size, go on YouTube right now. Chelsea Space Hive and Space King Size. Oh, now let me tell you, girls. Now, I would not recommend you watching this with your men <laughs> because, well, actually, I do. Be, oh, actually, oh. I do because <laughs> if, if after they watch it, they're going right to the bathroom. They're going to get themselves prepared. They're coming back in, and you're going to have a wonderful night. Oh, I think if they you. are. <laughs> and men, if you don't have a woman, go get the Vaseline. Get prepared <laughs> because once you see this video, it's all over. You're going to be wanting to do naughty, nasty things to yourself Mm -hmm. but that is the reason that's Mm -hmm. what this song is about it is Mm -hmm. let's not you know it's not a family value song this is Mm -hmm. a song that is about as i said dropping it like it's hot it's about sexy it's about having a being able to afford a king-size bed and being able to get somebody that looks like chelsea (laughs) into your king-size bed right i mean (laughs) come on was it busting the bubble or popping the bubble popping the bubble well you know (laughs) is that popping the cherry but he called it a bubble you know it's funny is that pop the bubble meaning you're tushy 
Oh, or pop, pop the, the pop bubble. bubble butt, you oh. know, pop the bubble, pop, baby, pop your butt in the dance oh, floor. Yes. Yes. I am so out of touch with. Reality. Oh my gosh. He's like, what's a tushy? Uh, it's a, bu- it's a butt. <laughs> it's a butt. You know, like men like women with the big butts, the Kardashian, Backside. you know, ba- like baby pop got your back. bubble. Yeah. Like, on a different subject. Do you like watermelon? I love watermelon. Albert, if you're going to talk, <gasps> you got to talk in the oh, mic, oh, please. He's, oh. he's okay. offered me a watermelon. Oh. She just said, oh, we got, uh, how many oh. minutes do we have? Zero. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Two. Well, you know what? Without oh. further ado, we're going to have to have you back on. Uh, you're okay. go- real quick, you're going on tour. Where are you going? Um, That is still, we Up have, we're still going to do okay. the tour. We're well, going here. on yeah. tour, mm-hmm. but go to iTunes, purchase a song. It's on iTunes, Amazon. Spotify, Spotify, Pandora. Pandora. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, so go and buy it. Oh, and I'm, I have a new single coming up. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. But yeah. that'll be the next time then. We, okay. That's another we'll conversation. Bring you, yeah, yeah, bring you back on. Um, she's working on a new single. She's going to go on tour. Go to check out the YouTube video. But right now, we're going to play King Size by Chelsea. Yeah. I know you never had it like this. Like this. I know you never had it like this. Like this. I know you never had it like this.